Oh, she's so sweet. And we are back mm -hmm. with another weekly vegan meal ideas video for you guys. Mm -hmm. Our meal number one is one of our favorites. It is West African peanut stew. Here's our African peanut stew. Absolute beauty. I feel like we have posted this one in the past, but it is a Sorry. repeat. It's been a long time. It has been a repeat for us, reoccurring throughout the couple years now. One of our favorites, one of my favorites especially. Let me go ahead and lean this kale out of the way. We got kale in it, okay? That's my not a lot, not a lot. That's my least favorite part of this meal. So we're going to put that to the side. It'll make a reappearance later. And Chrissy is going to tell you how we get through this. It's an Instant Pot recipe. It is an Instant Pot recipe. This one, certified banger. Absolutely. We're going to start off with some onion, garlic, a spicy pepper. Choose your own spice level. We just have a jalapeno. And then we'll also throw in some ginger, which we've already got. We'll cube our enormous sweet potato. Yeah, this thing's wild. It's Two pounds, baby. Huge. So I can jack it. Mm. <laughs> the potato might be bigger than your bicep. Uh, I don't know. It's pretty much the same size. It's close, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right. We'll have chickpeas for protein, and we're going to put in some... Chickpeas crushed calling. Crushed fire-roasted tomatoes. We'll also throw in some peanut butter in there, and we'll top it off with some chopped yeah, adds a nice little touch. A little bit of a Crunch. chopped peanut, dry roasted on the top. It is a sweet, savory style dish. Super good. Super fulfilling. I don't know how else to describe it. It's satisfying. It's yeah. rich. You might think it's, it's weird delicious. with peanut butter and tomatoes. Y but and like sweet just, potatoes, yeah. Just don't knock it till you try it. It's so good. Trust the process, baby. We are weeding through the meals so you don't have to. We're going to tell you which ones are certified bangers and which ones aren't. So we will see you for meal number two. One thing a lot of people ask me is, do you take any supplements like protein or this or that? And the truth is no, we don't. But we do take vitamins. I like the thorn vitamins. These are the PM ones. I get the AM PMs. I am out of AMs. So I'm showing you the PMs. I have the AMs coming. We also take magnesium because we were recommended when you have a high carb diet, magnesium pairs perfectly with that, something that I didn't know. And then we also take Irish sea moss pills. Once again, nothing is absolutely necessary, but I, we do recommend that you take some vitamins and multivitamin, just so you cover them bases. So that when somebody comes to you talking crazy, you can let them know, first of all, I'm already the healthiest person on earth because I follow the meals on the channel with Missy Chrissy and Eric Wojo. They give me the best nutritious, delicious meal ideas. So you already have your nutrition covered, but you can tell them, don't worry about me. We take multivitamins, baby. So now our next meal looks to me to be a Portobella fajita bowl. All right, here's our portabella fajitas. Cashew cheese on top, right? No, it's a chipotle pecan. Chipotle pecan. Sauce. Oh yeah, look at that. We got the caramelized onions under, and a bed of rice. Can't even dig too deep to get to the damn rice because there's so much goodness stacked on top of it. Oh yeah. I love anything. <laughs> yeah, but it's always bowls because I eat like a dog. I've been over yeah. this. This is why I got dogs in my shirt. Wolves. Woo! Because I got that dog in me, baby. Yeah! You know how I get that dog in me? From eating these meals. So if you need that dog in you, you're going to listen to Missy Chrissy explain to you how to achieve it. This one's a pretty fun one. Like you said, we're going to be doing it as a bowl. As always, if you've ever seen any of our videos, we're like, yeah, we're doing tacos. And it's always a bowl. Correct. It's always a bowl. It's never actually tacos. It's very rare. Um, actually, once in one a, of our videos, we did show real tacos. Once in a blue moon. So you can go skim and try to find that. But yeah. once in a blue moon, we like to do it that way. But we'll be doing it with rice. And they only had the conically large bags of rice, which is fine. We'll use it eventually. So we got our brown rice for our base. 
And then we'll be roasting some portobello mushroom caps along with some bell pepper, red onion, and then we'll be doing refried pinto beans. And this one, we make this really delicious like sauce. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but it's made with sun-dried tomatoes, some lemon juice, some canned chipotle peppers, and some pecans, which we don't have shown here because we have them in our cabinet. But it's kind of like a, a red pesto type of a sauce. It's so good, a little bit spicy, really tasty. Yeah, we love the spices, that's for sure. And sun-dried tomatoes, come on! Anytime we use sun-dried tomatoes, I'm excited. Also, I'm still waiting to use my joke to, because I think that it looks like liver. So, <laughs> I'm trying to pull somebody kinda, eventually and tell them that I'm because, on that liver king diet, baby. I stopped being a vegan. There, right? Yeah, I stopped being a vegan. I'm actually eating that liver. I'm ready to trick out some of my friends. I don't friends. know. Something about like how the tomatoes are dried, they just become super like the flavor is yeah. so like potent. Yeah, very good, very mm -hmm. good. Absolutely delicious. And what else? That's it. Nutritious. Yeah. Alright, we will see you for meal number three momentarily. This is what happens when you eat them greens, baby. Yeah. Show this to your kid. Tell him, if you want to look like Popeye, baby, you better be eating that spinach. Yeah. All right. Meal number three. We got a Thai green curry. Here is our lovely Thai green curry over top. Some basmati rice. I love all type of curry. It has been a long time since we've had anything other than yellow curry though. Or red curry. Yeah. Green? We're getting crazy. Love to see it. We have an Instapot one? Yes, okay, I see that. We have an Instapot one, once again. Because we do Instapot meals three times a week. So like I've mentioned in almost every video, but I'm gonna continue to do so. If you wanna just make three meals a week and eat your leftovers, you certainly can. We are certainly freaks of nature and we eat a lot of food so we don't have any leftovers, but you will definitely have leftovers with most of these meals. Make it easier on yourself. Try out the Instant Pot recipes first and then you can dive into the stovetop ones. Let's hear Chrissy explain to us how we achieve this one. Yes, this one is gonna be a pretty fun one. As you can see, we got tons of vegetables on the table. So this one's really nice because you got all your different green veggies in there. We've got some green onion, jalapeno, zucchini, asparagus, carrots, red bell pepper, and this is lemongrass, which is not unusual for us. <laughs> but with the Thai food, <laughs> you, have, you gotta have some lemongrass in there. And actually, last time I used this, what I did with the parts, because you don't eat all of it, just like the inside part, but the leaves you can actually make a tea out of. And it was quite good. Yeah. So definitely. I'll probably do that again. Um, and then we'll also throw in some water chestnuts, which are actually one of my favorites. We don't really have them that often, but they're so good. And the sauce is gonna be coconut milk, some Thai green curry paste lime juice and of course we'll throw in some chickpeas in there for that protein yep the amount of chickpeas we consume mind-boggling i've mentioned it before i'll mention it again one of the recommended foods from dr sebi alkaline approved baby yeah google it google it super healthy so when people ask why do you know those chickpeas google it that's why high protein Super good. So versatile too. Yeah, in a neutral taste that you can kind of blend and form Throw into anything. anything. Similar to cashews. Yep. Similar to hemp seeds and so on. So we get so much more protein than what people think. People be asking me where I get my protein. And I don't even gotta ask them where they be getting their fat because I see it all over them. Boom! Does it look like I'm protein deficient? Because it doesn't look like they fat deficient. Yeah! <laughs> all right. So we are moving on to meal number four. We will see you in a second. All right, babe, tell me what's missing from here. What's missing from this meal? 
Chickpeas. Astute observation. We're using dried chickpeas, which we already have. I see. We are using dried chickpeas for our meal number four here. Yep. Because the reason I was able to guess that is because they are falafel pitas. Oh, yeah. All right. Here is our falafel pita. What's that sauce in there? Tahini. Some tahini. Sauce. You see, like she mentioned, or you will see her mention, is she made some pickled onions as well. Yep. We're going to go ahead and show you the falafel, what it looks like, because in here, it's hard to kind of see everything. Oh, there we go. <gasps> We got the hummus in the oh, back. The yeah, I'm pulling the sheets back. Oh, got our falafel cool. right there, but we're gonna show you what the actual falafel looks like as well. Yeah. All right, she's telling me that this is her best falafel yet. I don't got the lighting over here, but you get the gist. Here's our falafel. Let's go ahead and do the violation. <gasps> Why would you do that? I know, cutting it in half. But it's a good uh, sign that it stayed together nice and perfectly yeah. as I cut it. Then we got the veggies in the middle as well. Lovely. I don't see anything that you can create falafels out of on the table. So apparently we're using dried chickpeas for this one. Yep. And Chrissy's going to explain to us how we achieve that. Yeah. So this one is going to require a little bit of extra forethought because we will have to soak the chickpeas for 24 hours before using them. So I will have to set myself an alarm to remind myself to soak the chickpeas or else I'll forget. It's a lot of work. Yeah. It's not that bad. It's just you got to remember. And then... On the same note, we'll also be making some homemade pickled red onions for our falafel pita. That I will also have to do the night before, so it has some time to get all pickled and tasty and delicious. But anyways, inside the actual falafel, it's going to be those dried soaked chickpeas, some cilantro and parsley, some lemon, garlic, shallots. They didn't have any like uh, fresh ones, so we had to get these ones in a bag, which I don't know, we'll see They're how they are. They're still fresh, but they didn't have any True. open and out in the air Correct. ones is what she's trying to say. Yes, that, that is what I'm trying to so say. So we had to get packaged ones. We'll see. They smell silly. <laughs> um, so why are we not using canned chickpeas for this one? The people might want to know. So you can make falafel out of canned chickpeas. I think the more proper traditional way is to use dried chickpeas to make them. Um, I've done it both ways. I don't know. Either way. Either way, it can work. The recipe but for is this, called for. Yeah, for this apparently. recipe, we're going to do them dried. And these will be baked falafel because we don't really do any kind of like deep frying because we're not that crazy. So it'll be baked falafel. We'll serve it up with some roasted red pepper hummus. More and chickpeas. A, correct, more chickpeas. And a tahini sauce, tahini we've already got in our cupboard. Throw some lemon and some spices in with that sauce. Yeah. Serve it up with some fresh cucumber, tomato, and we will be having it in actual pitas, but I'll still make some rice. So you can have it as a bowl with some pita on the side, yep. because you'll probably want to do that. Yeah, and of course, if you want to get really crazy, you can make your own hummus. It's true. But we just love this hummus. It's so good. Saves her a little bit of work. She's already making the whole meal. So to make hummus on top of that, sometimes it's a little yeah. bit much. Sometimes it's fine. Well, Depends on our day. Yeah. Apparently for this day, it's easier to just True. get the packaged hummus. Yeah, hummus isn't too hard to make. But the only issue is if you have to use an entire box or can of chickpeas, it makes a, a lot. It hummus. makes a lot of hummus. And it's just like too much. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like this is a little bit more of a manageable amount. So it's easier and also a little bit more practical for us. Yep. I'm excited for that one. Me too. As usual. So we will see you right. momentarily. We're making a little bit of a switch for our next meal. And you will see here in a moment what meal number five and six are. All right, meal number five. The reason why I said we're making a switch is because this will be an on the road meal. We are going out of town. We got some business to take care of, baby. Got a Ninja World Championships happening for me. Go ahead and check out my shorts. You'll see what I'm talking about. I'm going crazy out here, jumping and flying and swinging all over the place like Spider-Man or some shit. So that is why we eat so healthy, nutritious, because we have to be performing at our highest level, baby. Yeah, we do. 
So, also, you have to be an athlete for life. So, it's not just about sports. It's about being an athlete for life. So, you can prolong that life and enjoy it. So, we are having a potato salad. Now, you have seen <laughs> <laughs> the meal we had on the way down was just some potato salad. Something pretty simple. On the road, something easy to make. Something easy to consume in the car. We have about a seven to eight hour drive. So, you know we're going to be having to eat while we're moving and grooving, doing our thing. So let's hear how we accomplish it. We've got our potatoes. We'll be throwing some celery in there as well. That's some bell pepper, red onion, and then it'll have a very similar like mayo base made out of cashews. Sounds good to me. <laughs> we are moving on to meal number six, which this is gonna be our first night out of town. We're gonna pack and bring this with us so that we don't have to run to the store and try to, in a pinch, find something to make. So you will see that momentarily. All right, meal number six. This is the final meal that we shopped for. This is our infamous Chrissy's Curry. Oh yeah, even on the road, eating good. The famous Chrissy's Curry, the one and only. One of my favorites, just like everything else. <laughs> Which is basically everything that we have left over from the week combined with what we see on the table into Fabulous curry. Yep. So let's hear how we're doing it this week. Yeah. So usually our, our whole tagline is, we don't make these recipes. This one we sort of make, but it's pretty simple. Uh, it usually consists of the same few things. So we showed the potatoes from the last meal. Yep. We're going to use some of those. We usually will steam them, chop up some mushrooms, some onion, spicy pepper. Of course. Bell pepper. Chickpeas, of Grow course. Some chickpeas. And this is, our, this is favorite our favorite curry, curry sauce. sauce. Once again, a thing that you could make, but sometimes it just pays off to just buy yeah. your favorite so that, one, you support the kind of brands that you actually support, right? They're brands that are vegan products, you know? We don't do a lot of processed fake meats, etc. So we do support brands in that way. And it's delicious. Don't want to take the time to try to figure out how to make our version of that, right? This is one of our favorites just because it's simple and we get to utilize all of our leftover produce that we haven't used throughout the week. Yeah. So that concludes our meal number six. We do have two more meals on here because we're gonna to have to eat out of town and we, on the road, still make healthy, delicious, nutritious meals, baby. Oh yeah. Chrissy Girls. Curry's on her game. That's why she's my coach in this whole thing. You know what I'm saying? She's coaching me through it all. Nutritionist, coach, wifey. She plays a lot of roles out here. So we may or may not jump into a time warp and show you us in North Carolina with these meals. We haven't shopped for them yet, so we can't show you anything yet. All right, we're on the road, so we don't have our full setup but we're still making it happen, baby. That's what counts. Um, so let's go ahead and hear it, because I can't even quite remember what we're having for tonight. I think it's something Korean. Yes, it's actually a Korean chili. Korean chili. All right, here's our lovely Korean chili. What's in here? Uh, onion, bell pepper, jalapeno pepper, uh, lentils, Oof, kimchi this beans, kimchi right tomatoes, here. Ooh. some Korean chili paste. This is beautiful. Kimchi on top. You could smell this. You would understand. Yeah, are we accomplishing the Korean chili on the road, baby? All right. So the thing that makes it Korean is going to be the Korean fermented chili paste, or gochujang, if I'm saying that correctly. And we also have some <coughs> kimchi in the fridge, too, that we'll be putting on top of it. Kimchi! He peeled the label I off. I peeled the label it, off, damn so it. it looks really um, bizarre. <laughs> yeah, but that's my favorite one. Yep, so we'll be frying up some onion, bell pepper, jalapeno, throwing some canned lentils, kidney beans, tomatoes, cilantro, green onions. It'll be good. Yeah, and you are going to be seeing that presentation, so you already know. Delicioso. I don't even think that's a word. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you in a second. See some chickpea pasta shells. Yes, yeah, so this is a creamy Italian white bean bake. I see. So, 
All right, what's this one? This is the Italian white bean skillet. Oh, with the chickpea, chickpea pasta. pasta. Uh -huh. Beautiful. Insane. Oh, yeah. Making this in our cast iron, which we also brought with us. Yes, indeed. Which so, you guys will see everything we brought here in a moment, so. It'll be with some white beans, some fresh cut tomatoes, some baby spinach. We'll serve it over top of some chickpea pasta, and then we'll have a kind of cashew cheesy sauce on top of there as well. Awesome. Love it. That's what you gotta do when you're on the road. You gotta figure out what you can bring and shop for what you can't. But you are gonna see here in a second what we did bring. All right, so the most important thing we brought was the puppy. Look how cute she is over there. And to come with her, you need to bring some damn dog food. All right. We brought our rice cooker with us. We purchased a French press, purchased those chips. And then we brought the oil, salt, and spices, pepper that yep. we needed. We also brought our smoothie ingredients because, you know, anything that we could have brought that can stay good. So cashews, rice, lentils, rice, some canned things. We got a tiny ant crawling on our freshly purchased. Do we actually? Yeah, it's just a baby ant though, no biggie. Oh my God. <laughs> so we had, it looks like we brought a couple bananas as well. Um, we purchased some frozen fruit for our smoothies. And we brought the kimchi. Basically what we ended up doing, and we brought our uh, coffee creamer as well, some fruit. kiwis, fruit. We basically, if I can find it, oh, here it is. We have two coolers, one bigger one, Yeti, beautiful. No, this one's an Arctic. Arctic cooler and her lunchbox cooler. We stuffed those with everything that we could fit. And then we bagged everything else that we could bring. Since it was a road trip, we had the luxury to do so. If you're flying, of course, you're not gonna be able to do that. But um, also we brought our cast iron, which is in the, in the oven. Let's go ahead and, woo, yeah, beautiful. Brought our own cast iron, why not? When you're on the road, you have that luxury. So, and then we have our dog. We just went to the store and our dog has decided that she's gonna knock the dog food everywhere because she's very angry. And now she's being very cute, so we can't be very mad at her. All right, tell everyone goodbye, okay? Give them a big kiss. Tell them to subscribe. Tell them that they will see us next week, okay? And that we have all the recipes in the description. And that we will put this in a playlist. And we have about 11 videos they can watch, okay? Okay. All right, so I lied in that previous video. That was not the last meal for the week. That was the last meal here for the week but when you need something to eat when you're going home we don't want to stop and have mcdonald's and all that kind of craziness right yeah. so we have taco salad for the way home here is our lovely taco bowl oh yeah lentils what's the sauce uh it's plain vegan yogurt salsa and some spices Ooh, lovely let's go ahead and here what? Is that what it is? <laughs> salad, quote unquote. Okay. It's not an action yeah, salad. Yeah, it's not an action salad. All right. So what's in it? Yep. So we'll be having some cooked brown rice. Our taco meat will be made Boom! from uh, lentils and walnuts. We'll be throwing some black beans, some canned diced tomatoes, <sighs> actual tomato, a red onion, some frozen corn just in the freezer, and then our little sauce we'll make from unsweetened dairy-free yogurt and then some salsa. Perfect. Yep. So you saw our half week at home. You saw our meal in the car on the way down. And you have also seen what we are having on the way home. So we will catch you on the next episode. See you later. We will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Give us a like. Give us a comment. Let us know if you decided to try any of these recipes. And we have nine to ten other videos on the channel based on this style so if you enjoy the video go binge watch them all because we're giving you what is that hundreds of recipes right there man we are we through this stuff for you guys we are putting in that work recipes in the description yeah and if you hear us say that this is a certified banger trust and believe it
We will see you Yes. <laughs> we are going to give you a flex to get you out of here. Boom! We are trying to change what veganism looks like. Yeah! Ooh, I get like sideways slant so much. I don't even have to say anything else. We are trying to change what it looks like to be a vegan. You want to be proud to say you're vegan. You don't want people to look at you crazy asking you where you get your protein from. We want it to be like, oh, you're a vegan? You must be a savage. You must got that dog in you, baby. Yeah. We'll see you next time.